out to the ICC and the Hague based court is feeling the heat from the Africa frontier and now says is ready to initiate a referral of cases facing Kenya's top leadership. The ICC prosecution office has indicated that it is willing to engage Kenya legally on the country's cases, but Kenya should demonstrate it is actively prosecuting the cases against the same persons for the same crimes. Samugina reports. The ICC appears to be caving into pressure mounted by Africa's continental body, the African Union. The war crimes court chief prosecutor Fatou Ben Suda says her office is ready to engage the country on its exit plan from the Hague prosecutions. Ben Suda's statement coming hot on the heels of AU's resolution calling for the referral or termination of the Kenyan ICC cases of the Hague. A dispatch from the prosecution's office states, quote, the OTP stands ready to engage in any legal debate regarding its ongoing cases in Kenya, end of quote. Nonetheless, Ben Suda says to effect a referral of the cases facing President Uhuru Kenyatta, Deputy President William Ruto and radio journalist Joshua Arapsang, Kenya must prove it is genuinely investigating the same persons for the same crimes being tried before the ICC. Despite the prosecutor's willingness to begin a legal exit strategy for the Kenyan cases from her desk, Ben Suda says a referral of the Kenyan cases can only be granted by the judges. The ICC response triggered by heat generated by the African Union, threats of mass withdrawal of all African nations, member states to the Rome stated if regional cases at The Hague are not referred or dropped. A total of 34 African nations are parties to the ICC. Braving the heat, Ben Suda's office states, quote, The office of the prosecutor appreciates AU's unflinching commitment to combating impunity for serious crimes, but that the only way for justice to take its course is through judicial channels, with each step decided by the judges and not by political bodies or the media, end of quote. Meanwhile, as the office of the prosecutor appeared to yield to pressure, the ICC presidency was talking tough. A dispatch from the court's presidency ruled out being cowed by political statements, stating, quote, The ICC operates strictly within the mandate and legal framework created by the Rome State and cannot take political factors into account, end of quote, and that the court's decisions are taken independently on the basis of the law and the available evidence and are not based on regional or ethnic considerations. Sam Ginakatian, Nairobi.